Hello and welcome again to the Dougie Show. Today we're gonna show you how to do a backup of your personal data and how to factory reset your phone. So you may ask yourself, why do I need to do a factory reset of my phone? Well, there are a number of reasons to do a factory reset. The first of all is when small software pro problems appear that they don't have an easy solution, I would require you to send your phone back to, all the way back to the factory or to the seller, if you bought, especially if you bought the phone uh, or through the internet and nothing or retail shop. When the, fa the memory is full and your phone is not as fluent as the first day, that especially because uh, Android systems they have a small problem. They do. They have to take a snap picture of all your pictures to show them in the gallery. So if you all these pictures you see over here, they must be stored small pictures. They must be stored in the in the internal memory of the phone for the system to have them. Actually, all of this is being created as we speak, and it consumes your internal memory. Another reason is that you may have it full with applications, or you may accidentally with uh, pictures with. Uh, your music etc. In any case, once you do a factory reset and you completely flash your memories, your phone's memory, the phone should work as good as the first day. So one thing before we start, it's very important to point out that to do a factory reset will completely delay everything in your phone. So it's very important before we go on that we learn to do a backup of your personal data. There are a number of applications in the market you can use for backing up your personal data. In this case, this 550, like most Android, comes, comes with its own backup application. So, it's important to note that we must have an SD card or alternative, we can use the uh, USB connection to our computer or we can even use the cloud. But the easiest thing to do is to backup things into the an SD card. So first of all, we have to select what we want to, to save. In this case, we're going to only save the pictures. So once they are selected, we, we press backup to internal storage. It gives us a name that is normally the date of today, the day we do the backup, and we just press OK. So that's it. Now we have our pictures back up into the SD card. We could also back up the the, our applications and everything. So to do a restore, all we have to do is, once we did factory reset and we show you later, just go over here and press on, the, on one of these files and upload all this information to our phone. But we'll show you that in a moment. Now let's go to the factory reset part. But to do a factory reset, we go to settings and we scroll down to backup and reset. It's important to say again that you must have done a backup of your data or you lose it all. Then we press factory data reset over here and we press reset phone. I recommend to erase everything in your phone, but that's up to you. Once we press reset, it will warn us that we are going, we are going to delete everything in the phone. We did just press erase everything and the restoration process begins. This process may take up to five minutes. Well, now that the restoration process is complete, as you can see, the phone is just like the first day. So it asks us to configure it. We can just skip all of this. And now we're going to show you how to restore the data we previously saved. Now it's written the SD card, but we just go back to backup and restore this application. And then instead of backup, we select restore. And here we just select the latest backup we have in this case this one and we just restore it yeah we are sure we you could also just back up your applications and once you have your phone factory reset just uploading again to your to your phone so now uh, the pictures we said before are back in the phone as you can see now 
you can see here and that's it so here you have it how to do a factory reset for any of our phones if you like this video like always give us a thumb up if you have anything to comment or you didn't understand any part of the process just give us a comment below and as like always see you soon in the Dewey Show.